So let me move forward and show you a little bit of a timeline, and this might make it a little clearer about what I'm talking about with you know, NX 1847 versus NX 1872, or even backing up to what I've got on my computer, which is um, NX 1863. So the idea, again, is to have um, some major releases uh, roughly every six months. You know, if you've been around NX and even Unigraphics back in the old days, uh, the major releases used to come out about every year. So you can always say, well, yeah, I've been with NX since, you know, NX, NX9 or something. And then you can kind of figure out how long somebody's been using <laughs> using NX but just based on, you know, one release per year. <clears throat> so there, you're going to have these uh, what they call functional enhancement releases roughly every six months. Those are represented by the red dots here. And then in between, there's going to be monthly updates. And these are continuous updates. You don't have to do them in sequence. Uh, it's kind of like Windows. It'll, it'll automatically download the latest one in, in the background. And, and these are intended to, uh, to be mainly bug fixes. You know, so if there's problems that, that people report, you know, the Siemens will take care of those and, and, and fix those. Now, within the cycle, there's still going to be the same uh, beta testing and uh, the, the EAP program, early adopter program. So if any of you are involved in those, those are still going to continue. And they're going to be based on the functional releases. So they're going to be still in advance of that functional release. Um, and you'll still get an opportunity to provide feedback to Siemens uh, relative to the software that, that you've signed up to, to help evaluate. <clears throat> so in between, all these monthly releases here, they're all going to be coded with a four-digit number. So if you go all the way back to the beginning of the year, 1847 was the first release. Then uh, we had an 1851, and then an 1855, and so on. So again, roughly about every month. Um, so you know, we're we're in May. Actually, it's kind of late May already. Wow, it's almost June. <clears throat> so 1863 came out uh, a couple of weeks ago, and that's the one I've got installed on, on my system. And the way these work, you know, you don't actually have to install 1847 and go straight to 1863. You can you can download and install 1863. Um, so that's a little bit different. I'll show you how the downloads work here in, in just a moment too. So if you if you're responsible for maintaining your software, um, it's similar to what it was before, but uh, it's got a little bit of a different uh, different look about it if you go to the to the to the download pages. So um, there's a lot of concern about okay, well if, if NX is going to continuously update, well, what's going to happen on my settings? Am I going to have uh, file compatibility with earlier versions? All those kinds of things. So so Siemens is planning ahead and like taking a look at those things, and and there's a number of tools that are available to help make that transition really as as uh, transparent as possible. So one of the things that's happening is that you're going to find a new file. Um, that's going to be stored in your user profile location. So typically, that's going to be in your uh, your home folder where you've got uh, your your Windows home folder defined on your on your system. Um, so let me show you that really quickly here. So here's here's what my home folder looks like, and it's buried down there in the typical place that you might see um, your home folder set up in Windows. So it's under Users if you're using Windows 10. You know, Users, uh, your username, app data, local Siemens. And here you've got settings that, that are related to each specific version of, of NX. So, so some of the stuff you might think is, is familiar if you've been working with some of your user settings before. Starting in NX 1847, there's a new file here called User Preferences, this one. And if you open this up and take a look at it, um, it's, you're going to see that it's got some registry entries. So this is that file-based registry that uh, instead of just using the registry directly, there's going to be... Uh, uh, registry entries in this file that gets maintained. So if you are responsible for uh, for managing your your user settings or your group or site's user settings, just be aware that this this file is there. If you go back and take a look at some of the earlier versions, compare to uh, what might be in your NX12 folder or your NX11 folder, you may not see that user preferences text file. So um, so take a look at that if you're setting up your user settings going into 1847. <clears throat> and uh, just be aware that it's there. Oh, I know a lot of folks will take an earlier version of their NX settings and copy them. Um, the, the entire folder, just copy the entire folder and uh, give it a new name and set that up in their environment. But there, there, there could possibly be a, you know, another file missing. So there's this user preferences.txt file. So another thing that they've done to try to help things out is, uh, you know, they're going to be publishing changes that have been made to a lot of your 
background settings in a sense, you know, like things like customer defaults, your drafting settings, um, any of your uh, customization tools, like, you know, your user tools. And that's going to actually be available. It is actually on, available right now on the GTAC website. So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to switch to my browser window. Here's the GTAC website. And uh, if you go to the documentation area, when you get to GTAC, um, you'll see a list of all the different uh, uh, software products that you might have licenses. I've got a pretty long list because we're a distributor, of course. But if you go to NX, um, there's a link to what's called the Document Center. It's called Doc Center for short. It's right here on this page. If you click Doc Center, you're going to go to uh, a little bit more detailed information of what's new in different versions of NX, what's been fixed in different uh, patches and such. Uh, what we're looking for is in the 1847 series, you know, what's changed in the NX configuration and NX open. So that's the link. It's, it's kind of hidden a little bit, so I just wanted to let you know wh what that link looked like. And let's see, it should be opening up. Let's see, did I click the right link? Let me go back here. Oh, I'm not logged in yet. <laughs> I do need to log in with my web key. Okay. All right, this is what it should look like. And then you can go and choose, let's say I want to see what's new with the customer defaults. And, and these are tabs across the top here. So uh, you got a tab for new customer defaults. So these are new in, um, so let's choose that this is 1872, the new version is going to be come out, uh, coming out this summer versus um, NX12, let's say, and we'll compare those. So there's a bit of a, of a setup that you can go through, so you can compare, let's say 1872 versus 1847, for those of you that are, that are already on 1847, or you can compare it to NX11. It doesn't go further back, so, um, Sorry for, for those of you that are that are back on NX10 or earlier. Um, Siemens is only uh, posting the changes since NX11 here on this website. <clears throat> so you've got these settings here for uh, your customer defaults, what's new, um, what's removed, and what's modified. And the same thing for your drafting standards uh, in this particular table. You know, if I go back a page here, you can take a look at environment variables, and this is something that, you know, we get a lot of questions about environment variables, because sometimes they're a mystery to us, too, until we have an issue with something, and then we uh, talk to our friends over at Siemens, and they say, oh, you need to set this environment variable. So so this is going to be really handy, I think, for a lot of a lot of users, that you can go and take a look at, you know, what are some new environment variables um, uh, in NX versus what we had maybe back in NX11. There's, there's several new ones, as you can see here. So there's some tools that are available. That's the bottom line. I'm not going to, of course, go through all those details at the moment. Uh, let me dismiss this thing. Let's get back to some of my, my slides here. So I want to show you uh, how the uh, the software reports the, the changes to you. And then we'll do a, a really quick uh, uh, example of what that might look like. I've got a video since my software is actually up to date already. So, so you'll see several messages. It's actually keyed off of an icon that's in the upper right hand corner of your NX window. And uh, if you just point your cursor at the at the icon, it's going to tell you what update condition you're in. It's also going to have a different color code for that. So if you're looking at your NX uh, ribbon bar, it's going to be all the way over here to the right. Uh, in this example, it's a green dot, which means that the, the software is up to date. Uh, it's over to the right of your command finder. A lot of people know what the command finder is because it's a pretty handy tool. So it's all the way over here to the right, and that icon can have a number of different colors. So if, if your icon is green, that means your software is up to date, and that's that's what, what mine looks like here. If I pop up my uh, my Annex window, mine mine's up to date right now. Um, if it's red, that means there's a new software update that, that's available, and you can click that to, to download. And I'll show you how that works in just a second. So you'll progress through these colors here. It goes from green to red. Then as the update is downloading, that icon turns blue. And once it's finished downloading, the icon becomes yellow. And at that point, you can install it. Um, if the icon is either gray or black, that means you're not connected to the, uh, the Siemens update server. So if it's gray, that's by your choice. Uh, by the, 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 the software has the updates disabled out of the box. So if you were going to just charge right into NX1847, um, it's probably going to have a gray dot because you do have to go and turn that on. I'll show you where that is. And then the black dot means that you're, you're, you're either offline, maybe you're not on an internet connection. Um, it, you know, NX just can't see the server. So I want to do a very quick um, 
example of what this might look like.